Hello sir, I am so much tense sir. Exam in one month and I don't know how to prepare, what to prepare. Sir, please help me. This type of questions are coming in our students mind and today we are going to solve all that question guys. How you can prepare easily in this last one month and how can you score 90% marks in mathematics. So we are going to solve all your problems for maths. The first point that I want to convey here is understand the syllabus. Still, uh, many students are doing from this reference book and that reference book, and uh, there, there many chapters are not clear, guys. Don't try to go for other reference book. First of all, try to complete your full NCERT textbook. Yes, try to complete your full NCERT textbook. In that, you can find out that how many chapters. Uh, are clear you need to make a note that how many chapters are totally clear and I, I can get good marks in that how many in how many chapters I need to practice and everything first of all you need to find out that and whatever chapter you know properly first try to revise that so that will increase your confidence now after that the chapter which are medium means you know some part and you, you don't know try to clear that chapter with the help of many YouTube channels are there. If you are having any doubt, you can watch my videos also. I have made quick revision chapters also video. So you can see, I will give the link in the description from there also. You can see that and at last prepare for, for the chapters which you don't know. You need to prepare guys. You need to prepare all the chapter. It's not like that you skip any chapter. So then you need to prepare and just prepare for from NCRT, don't go with any reference book guys first thing you need to do is to prepare from NCRT. second thing you need to highlight all the formulas and theorem what happens you know many times many times when I give surface area volume questions to my students or area related to circles they don't know the formula and they had practiced a lot and they don't know formula so try to by heart that all formulas very properly if you know formula then and only then you will get the answer don't try. i have seen many times students are writing wrong formulas and they are not getting marks so first of all the base is this formulas and theorems and concept you need to make a mind map i think now in many books mind maps are given to you so you can prepare all that or revise whenever you want to give exam before that you need to revise that one time all the formulas and theorem and if you are having doubt in any of these chapters from NCRT uh, then first of all you need to clarify that by heart all the formulas and theorems and then clarify the doubt yes what happens generally student if they are having doubt they leave that chapter don't do that guys you need to prepare all this chapter and you need to clarify all your doubts and nowadays many reference books are there many youtube channels are there who are teaching in hindi also in english also in your mother tongue also please try to watch their videos and try to understand that concept introductions are also there so you need to practice now uh, one more thing after doing this the main problem that i am facing is when, when you watch this type of videos of mine or any other teacher is explaining that work hard this and that then you all do start that but do, do it for only one or two days guys consistent practice yes most important part is consistent every day minimum one hour minimum I will suggest why because here you need to write and practice don't learn huh? write and practice this all things don't just see that I know this, I know this. If you know then also you need to write down and practice from NCIT first. Make your base clear. This is your base guys. If your base is clear, once, once your base is clear, then we will go for other things. Okay, so first you need to make your base clear. Don't go for, for any other reference book. First part is this. After that, you start with any simple paper book or previous year papers what is the problem you know guys what i have observed in my 15 years of teaching career that whenever one single chapter tests are there 
स्टूडेंट आर प्रिपेरिंग सो वेल एंड स्टूडेंट्स आर गेटिंग मार्क्स वेरी गुड मार्क्स बट वेन एवर आई टेक टेस्ट ऑफ फाइव चैप्टर्स टूगेदर दे आर नॉट दे आर नॉट एबल टू स्कोर दैट मच वाई दे गोट कन्फ्यूज बिकॉज वेन वन चैप्टर इज देर यू दे नीड टू प्रिपेयर ओनली टू और थ्री फॉर्मूलाज एंड दे कैन स्कोर गुड so why why after ncert directly i am suggesting you to do solve this because because here all chapters will come together second day here in sample paper uh, how they can ask you for one mark questions of one mark how two mark how three mark that everything you will come to know from this so try to solve start solving sample papers okay any many publications are there you can select any any publication and start solving and previous year papers also if you are uh, you are having you can start preparing a return practice a uh, return practice guys and when you will do this practice many doubt will arise many doubt okay so that doubt need to be clarify uh, by your school teacher or coaching class or youtube or uh, anywhere you will get uh, solution of that questions you need to solve and understand that where i was lacking or what was the solution and and highlight highlight why you were not getting the answer where you were doing mistake everything you need to keep in mind and next time whenever that question uh, comes or that type of question comes you need to do it correctly only it's not like that you continuously um, do the same mistake in that type of question so you need to highlight your mistake and next time that mistake should not be happen so that will that will give you more confidence and slowly slowly you will be able to understand that why i was not getting marks and now you will get better marks from the previous uh, paper you have given now what you can do it here is the third point mock test guys mock test now in your schools also they are taking prelims 1 prelims 2 prelims 3 3 and in your coaching classes or you they are taking this mock test of papers only why they are taking just to analyze the things that in 3 hours how you will be able to write the paper what type of difficulties will come during the uh, practice of writing that paper are you able to solve that in 2 uh, 2 hours and 30 minute or are you able to solve that in 2 hours so many things will come into your mind when you are writing the papers so and the most important thing after writing that paper when teacher checks and give back that paper to you or you can check if you are giving it your own you can you need to check that paper and try to highlight the mistakes where you are making or are you able to solve that in 2 2 hour and 30 minute or 3 hour that time management is also the biggest part in this one so that you need to prepare properly guys that you need to finish that whole paper in 2 hour and 30 minutes only that will give you some confidence by uh, in remaining 30 minutes you can check your recheck your paper and everything you can do so try to finish in 2 hours and 30 minute your full paper guys and one more thing that i need to tell that whenever you are checking your paper wherever you find out that here i am making mistake or write down the time also that i have solved this in 1 minute this question has taken more than 15 minute from me so that type of questions you need to decrease your time in that type of questions so that also you need to highlight when you are giving mock test mock test is actually one of the most important part, part but students students are not taking it very seriously as they think this is only a preliminary test but actually this is the revision of your board examination how you are going to write what you are going to write and in which way you are going to write everything how you are writing in this uh, paper the same way you are going to write in board examination many students what they are telling sir right now i am doing this in rough but whenever board examination is there i will do it properly in proper system it is not like that whatever you will do it here the same way you will write in board examination so so don't do that properly write down everything in this mock test okay guys so these are the basic things 
that you need to keep in mind after that these are means you need to do practice but healthy lifestyle students generally what many times students eat more and they feel sleepy and actually take you proper rest also guys it's not like that for preparation when i have seen that students are sleeping for only four four hour and practice don't do like that easily if your mind is uh, clear in proper one hour practice also you can easily score good it's not like but you need to during that one hour to keep your mobile off and switch off and keep it away from you and for in that one hour practice properly for maths guys all the students of india usa canada uk australia and other countries can join me for more videos